Hi, this is Brendan from Young Champions Photos uh, doing another video on uh, green screen and how to set up your green screen. Uh, first, we're going to show the importing. Uh, when you're importing your pictures, you need to set up how you're going to import. Uh, do the quick import setup, tell it where to go, make sure you're going to delete the photos after copying them. So when you import them, it doesn't uh, have to import them twice uh, or you'll, you'll get the same pictures twice. When you hit the space bar, it should start importing. You see the little blue bar at the bottom coming in, and you know it's working. So the base bar is the shortcut. Uh, next, we're going to go to setting up an 8x10. Uh, we're going to call this the Dragon 8x10 border. Uh, it's going to be vertical, and uh, there's going to be several layers that we're going to use, or three layers, uh, to set up our photo with the green screen. So make sure it's 8x10, hit OK. Uh, first, we're going to do the background border. So uh, we'll do the graphic, browse to the, to the background. Uh, it'll be the background folder we're going to do uh, 8 by 10 dragon background so it's labeled uh, to the correct size open that up make sure that there is no transparency this is the background we don't want anything showing through so this is behind the student next we'll add the student a student needs to have a chroma key turned on otherwise the green will not disappear that's the number one and you can see there's no gray around the one add another graphic hit browse and this is going to be the dragon 8 by 10 foreground so FG and that's going to sit on top of the layer. So there's three layers, the background, the foreground, uh, and the student in the middle. Make sure your alpha channel uh, is clicked. And once you've got that set, uh, you can save it. And you should be good if for your, your border. You can tell it works because there's no gray around the, the numbers. If there's gray around it, that means that the student, the photo for the pictures is not going to be transparent. The green screen will not show through, or it'll, it'll just show green. Uh, we'll bring in the, the picture and put the border on it. You can see the green screen behind them. Hit B for border. Navigate to your karate pictures just like you normally would, and it should work. Now, you may need to adjust a few things. Um, use the mouse wheel to scroll up. You don't want to show his feet. Uh, make sure that the green screen goes down by their knees, and you can move them around to where you want. You may, to make, may need to make some slight adjustments. Uh, you can adjust over on the right side and the dropout. Uh, you can do hue percent, it's a good one. Uh, threshold will also help changing the color a little bit, making it a little bluer or redder can help. It really depends on the photo, how your lights are set up. And when you're ready to go, uh, you can bring it in. Next is the memory mate. When you do memory mates, uh, to setting those up, there's gonna be an extra layer because there's also a class photo. Uh, one of the pictures will have green screen that is transparent and the other picture, uh, the class photo will not be transparent since obviously you don't put a green screen behind them. Uh, so when you bring in your first picture, uh, that's going to be the, the class border, it, uh, no background because that's going to be the class photo. The top layer is actually the border itself. It needs to have an alpha channel because it's going to show through the middle. And uh, the student, uh, the picture for the student will have the green screen. Now when you bring them in, uh, there can be some issues. Um, sometimes for large groups of students, uh, when you put them in the background, uh, the green will it doesn't know to, to take the green out so you have to tell express digital that this is, is supposed to have a green screen so click over on the right side the little green square will just pop it right in and let it know that the green needs to be transparent um, using memory mate can be tricky because it likes to go back and forth between uh, the, the two pictures the class photo and the, the individual picture so when you're clicking between them make sure you're clicking on the one you want to change next and then importing the photo that you want or adjusting the photo you want if you just keep clicking on pictures eventually it's going to uh, do the other picture. So it's going to have like two pictures uh, where the class photo should be. Uh, you can see we can bring in another student in. If I click another one and then another one, it's going to bring it in where the class photo goes. So you can see you have to click on the, the photo you want and then import the picture. Okay, so we're going over one more border. This is the scroll border. It's a little different than borders we've used in the past. Uh, the parchment or scroll uh, has like a, a different color to it. So we bring in our students. Looks like it's actually showing the chroma key and this is check marked, uh, which means I guess everything's going to be uh, transparent that's on green. So don't forget blue belts will uh, not be transparent, but green belts will. So when you bring our students in here to give them sort of like a, an old timey kind of look, I guess you could call it, or uh, sort of like a sepia tone, uh, I click on retro. Apply to the entire thing, and it gives it a, a different color to it. Now, if I change it to a different photo, it keeps that, but 
it's not dropping out the green. So go back to color balance, drop out, chroma key, and there we go. So zoom in with the mouse wheel, and there we are. Now if we change borders, it should bring it back to the regular colors, and there we go. And it looks like this time I remember to drop out the chroma key, the green. So that's the, uh, the scroll or the uh, parchment borders with the different color look. Um, hopefully it's a, it's a good seller. We did one a long time ago and we did green screen and it sold pretty well. So this is Brigham from Young Champions. So we'll uh, answer any questions that you have. Email me at the link below. Uh, if you have any, any comments or ideas for any future videos for helping for training for green screen, please let me know as well. I hope you have a good successful at your photos. And this is Brigham Kerr signing up for Young Champions.